Hey everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Catch. If you've ever streamed your favorite show on a rainy day, called Family Across the Globe, or snagged a deal online, you've got the TCP IP model to thank, even if you've never heard of it. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on this hidden hero of the internet. What actually makes all your digital experiences so seamless? How do messages, videos, and emails zip around the world in seconds? Stick around as we break it down with simple analogies and real-world examples you'll actually remember. And if you find these tech deep dives helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a Knowledge Catch update. First, what exactly is the TCP IP model? It stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, a universal playbook that all devices follow to talk to each other, no matter where they are or who made them. Think of it as the global language of the Internet, allowing your phone, laptop, and even your smart fridge to communicate smoothly, just like people using a shared language on a group trip. Now, imagine sending a parcel from your home to a friend living overseas. The journey involves several steps. Packing, local delivery, customs, and final handover. The TCP IP model works in a similar way, organizing network communication into four neat layers. The network interface layer, internet layer, transport layer, and application layer. Let's walk through each layer using our delivery analogy. At the base, we have the network interface layer, sometimes called the link layer. Its job? Getting your digital parcel onto the local delivery vehicle, whether that's through an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi signal. Picture this layer as your neighborhood post van. It collects your package, checks it securely wrapped, and gets it out the door. If the van doesn't show up, your package isn't going anywhere. Similarly, this layer formats your data so it can physically travel the first stretch of its journey, whether across a cable or through the air. Next stop, the internet layer, powered by the internet protocol, IP. Here's where each device gets a unique IP address, like a postal address for computers. Think of this as the international sorting center. Your parcel's address is checked, and the best route is chosen. If you're in London and your friend is in Tokyo, this layer decides which planes and trucks your package hops on, ensuring it moves smoothly through various countries, or networks, until it gets close to its destination. Now, your parcel's in the right city, but how do we guarantee it arrives safely without anything lost or broken? Enter the transport layer. This layer uses two main delivery styles, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, and UDP, User Datagram Protocol. TCP is like using a tracked delivery service. You sign for every item, and if something's missing, it gets resent. UDP is more like regular mail. Faster and simpler, but there's a chance a letter might not show up. Which is fine for things like live sports streams or video games, where speed matters more than perfection. So, if you're emailing a document where accuracy is crucial, TCP ensures it arrives complete. But, if you're watching a live stream, UDP helps you get the action quickly, even if a second or two skips. At the top, we have the application layer, the part you actually interact with. This is your favorite shop's front desk, where you see and use what's delivered. Web browsers, HTTP, Email clients, SMTP, and file downloads, FTP, all live here. It translates the complex data journey into something easy for humans. Websites, emails, videos, everything presented in a format you can use and enjoy. So, why should you care? The TCP IP model standardizes how data travels globally, making sure your bank app, online games, and video calls work seamlessly. Whether you're next door or on the other side of the planet, it's the digital postal system, ensuring every message find its way quickly and reliably. Now, you might hear about the OSI model, Open Systems Interconnection, 
which breaks communication into seven detailed layers. If OSI is a gourmet recipe book with lots of steps, TCP IP is like your trusty four-step meal plan, streamlined and built for the real world. Before we go, here's an easy way to remember the four layers of the TCP IP model. All teachers inspire networking. Application, transport, internet, network interface. Just remember, all teachers inspire networking, and you'll always have the TCP IP layers in the right order. And if you like acronyms instead, think ATIN, Application, Transport, Internet, Network Interface, ATIN, like a fast train that connects you everywhere online. To wrap up, the TCP IP model divides internet communication into four practical layers, each handling a specific job, just like a well-organized postal service. The result? Effortless, reliable digital connections that power your everyday life. Thanks for joining me on Knowledge Catch. Keep exploring and stay curious. I'll see you in the next one.